Welcome back to the Regional Chronicles. Did you know that Salisbury Beach was home to many glamorous hotels in the 1900s? Like the Ocean View Hotel, the New Ark, and the Linton Hotels, along with hundreds of cottages were built right on the beach, as well as the Atlantic and the Castle Mona with the Vinta Vela Hotels. They also had what was called the Dummy Train, now, the dummy train would take people back and forth from the reservation Black Rocks to the hotels. The Williams Photography Studio was found at the back of the Cushing Hotel. And the Columbian Dance Hall was right across the street from the hotel. Some amusement attractions at the time was from a horse named King. He would take part of the diving horse tour in 1906. The introduction of amusement park rides like the Whip and the Cycling Wave amused all ages back in 1896. And in 1895, the Varney's Union Cafe ice cream stand was one of the first on the beach. So how did it all come to an end? Coming up next. So who was responsible? And how did this happen to the glory days of Salisbury Beach? When we continue.